I'm not motivated because I, I you know, really want to be in public office. I'm motivated because I really want to make change that makes things better for people. When I was 10, my father took me to West Germany to visit with his family, and he really instilled in me how fortunate I was to be Canadian and to be in a country in which democracy was so strong and healthy. And he also took me to East Germany. I really saw what was not democracy. I came out of that experience really feeling committed to the idea of democracy and how important it is to be a participant in it. My mom was a, an advocate for women's rights. I remember being in a women's rights march with her when I was five or six years old. And in the early 1990s, she was involved with her community to stop a municipal landfill from going right next to Elk Island National Park. And they were successful. And I was inspired by her commitment to her community and how she went about it. I was writing my PhD and a friend of mine asked me, how does this help the world? And I couldn't really come up with an answer, but that question really remained with me. And I recognized that as a teacher, I could actually really dig into helping students, helping the world, helping my community. I'm a passionate advocate for early childhood education, partly because I've experienced it myself, but also because research and evidence shows it affects things well beyond just that classroom and those kids. When we recognize that government's role is to provide that foundational support so that everybody can meet their fullest potential, then the whole society benefits. So we'd moved to Shawnigan in the fall of 2011, and we found out that the provincial government was considering granting a permit to put a contaminated landfill site at the headwaters of Shawnigan's drinking watershed. At the time, we thought there's no way a government would do this, but they did and we made it impossible for government to ignore our voices. When I decided that I wanted to run for MLA, I had one clear purpose, to fix this system so that what happened to Shawnigan wouldn't happen to any other community. In 2018, the Professional Governance Act was passed that brings oversight back to government who oversee how the regulation of these professionals is going. If we're going to act on climate change, we actually need an economic plan to do it. And that's what Clean BC is, is an economic plan. The emergencies are so serious, and the kind of governance we need in BC and the world right now is a governance that says we put service first, we put people first, we put our children first, and we make decisions based on that. I was motivated to run for leader, and I'm motivated in this election to give it everything I've got because we need to do politics differently.